It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. Everyone's out walking their dog, and I'm walking my camera. Yep, it's a walking kind of morning. Pretty slow news day yesterday. Let's see. Did my show at the radio station, and that was always fun. Picked up some new CDs to review. Thanks to our music directors. Very nice of them. And let's see. I used, I kind of shot my load on Twitter, so I can't really talk about that here, because I don't like to repeat myself. But I don't know if it counts as repeating myself if I mentioned I don't like to repeat myself. It was pretty warm yesterday. It got into the 80s, second time this year. My girlfriend and I wanted to go for a run, but we waited because we wanted to uh, run when it wasn't so hot out. So we waited until about 5.30. It was still pretty warm, but I guess better than doing it at 4. We went to Santa Clara and ran in that neighborhood, a neighborhood in Santa Clara instead. Right now there's Measure J. Oh look, they went through and got rid of all the weeds. We can blaze our own trail. But I think I'll pick the same one. Oh, hello kitty. Kitty. Oh, kitty's gone. No more kitty. Did we lose the kitty? There's the kitty. Oh, this is like Blair Witch Project. Remember I told you, the train station episodes, don't look at them, just listen to them. Alright. Poor kitty. Kitty doesn't want to be on the internet. Let's look at other pictures of mice. You know, like there's bacon websites, and people go to the bacon websites and look at the bacon and talk about they like bacon. That's like the cat going to the website talking about the mice. Oh, look at that mice. I'd like to cure that. Mice never be able to be really successful at curing, at curing mice, though, because look at the kind of patience that again, the cats have. They've got the mouse in front of them. They're going to eat the mouse or the bird. You know, they're not going to make smoked turkey pastrami like we would with our turkeys. They get that bird and they're turning it into dinner right away. They're not enough time to fry the damn thing. Fried food is definitely not a cat thing. So anyway, in the Santa Clara neighborhood, there are lots of yes on J and no on J signs. And I'd say the yes on J signs outnumber the no on J signs about four to one. However, that just tells you where the money is. And as much as I always say vote against the money, because the money's going to win, I don't think the money's going to win this time. I really would like Jay to pass. I don't think it's going to. I was going to move to Santa Clara, but I decided to move to Willow Glen instead. One of the reasons is, I said, well, they're going to have a stadium vote in about three years, and it's not going to pass. And if I move to Santa Clara, and my stadium vote fails, my property values are going to go down. And the whole reason to move to Santa, Sunny, Santa Clara is because it'll have priority for buying season tickets. However, the Oakland A's are moving to San Jose. That's more likely to happen. I don't think you need voter approval for that. And if you do, San Jose is more likely to vote for something like that, because we're pretty smart here in San Jose. We can't just take a group of 20,000 people and get them to do whatever we want. It would take more than that in San Jose to overturn a vote. Of course, we tried to read the Giants here in 1992, and that didn't work. But we're a more intelligent populace now. And so anyway, we'll see what happens. But there are definitely a ton more yes on J than no on J signs. I just don't think it's going to matter. I don't think it's. I think if the yes on J side gets 45% of the vote, they should consider that a victory, even though it won't be one. I just don't see it passing. Well, I guess we'll see. Election day is in June, and speaking of which, as I mentioned, I got my thing that describes the propositions. All I need is my sample ballot, and then I get to figure out the delicate task of how I'm going to do all of my election episodes. I haven't figured that out yet, but I'm sure I will. That's all the time we have for today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.